sometimes simply pausing for girl talk. <laughs> no, what is that? My boyfriend gave me a wedding band. A wedding band. Now, how can he give you a wedding band if he's your boyfriend? He just went and gave it to him. Oh. In the land where the helpless and the helpers are kindred souls, there are no restrictions on reaching out to one another. It's a good experience when they're at the camp. They enjoy it, they're happy, and they know that they're loved and they're cared for. I guess the part I like most about working with them is they're all innocent. They don't have a mean or devious bone in their body. But neither does she. Coming, Nancy? <laughs> And when 17-year-old Brandy Mobley left Camp Spearhead this summer, probably for the last time, only a few of her friends knew she was embarking on a journey that would happily alter her life. That looks good. Like right that? there. Little height right in the middle. Perfect. Right. If you are prone to the romantic, you've probably guessed it by now. Brandy got married, got married on August the 16th, and the young man who took her for his wife was 20-year-old Matthew Gregory, a college freshman from Greenville, South Carolina. The wedding was small, it was simple, it was nice, this union of Matt and Brandy. I'm Matt, I'm Matt. Take you, Brandy. Take you, Brandy. Oh, Brandy. You look gorgeous. Matt says it looks like a mushroom. Oh. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> With this ring. With this ring. I wedge you. I wedge you. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Till death do us part. Till death do us part. It is my wonderful privilege to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Gregory. And here they come. At the reception, the beaming bride got to see someone very special in her life, her great-grandfather, Ed Painter, who helped raise Brandy until she was 12 years old. She also got to show off her wedding band, which, as nature would have it, she wears on a tiny toe, a toe connected to a small appendage that she uses with stunning dexterity. And then it was over. A ceremony long remembered, and a hurried rush by the young lovers to be on their own. Now, ordinarily, Brandy and Matt's marriage and their driving away to honeymoon in the Tennessee Smoky Mountains, which they did, by the way, would be an appropriate place to draw this to a conclusion. But there is more. And their story continues to unfold here on the campus of Charleston Southern University. Not only did this ambitious couple get married, they enrolled in college. Brandy, who plans to major in psychology, has several scholarships to get her through the first year. Matt, seeking a computer science degree, has borrowed to the max to begin his sophomore year and is hoping their financial ship can stay afloat. Like many newlyweds just starting out, they live on a monthly budget that is frivolous free. Okay. <laughs> just what we need, right? Yeah, just what we need in the morning. Another bill. Insurance bills. In spite of the new responsibilities they are discovering and will share, their optimism runs high. We're ready to work together to, to make the changes and, and iron out the kinks that are going to be in our path, especially with college and, and working on campus here. Did the two of you discuss the expectations that would be placed on you and the reliance that would be placed on you uh, in this marriage? We never sat down and said, these are what needs to be done and how we're going to do it. It was more of an understanding that we had between us. And when it came down to uh, my personal, her personal needs and my taking care of her there, uh, it was with an ease and almost as if I'd been doing it all my life. As for young Mrs. Gregory, she always felt that Matt's resolve to shoulder added responsibility was never in question. I wouldn't have married him if I wasn't sure. Despite how much I loved him, it would ruin his life if I didn't see that strength in him. One gets the impression that you've adopted an attitude of, yes, I can. Don't tell me I can't. Have you always been that way? 
Yeah, I think pretty much I have. I had really supportive grandparents, so they never, um, they never discouraged me. They always encouraged me to do things um, that, you know, that people said I couldn't do. In those obvious situations where Brandy can't do something, Matt can. But what she's learned to do with what little she has makes the spirit soar. I have to have assisting in bathing as far as getting in the tub, but after that, I bathe myself completely. And um, I can brush my teeth with my foot and do makeup and things like that. Comb your hair? Yeah. Matt helps me do it like if I want to put it up or whatever, and he helps with hairspray. All of her life, Brandy Mobley Gregory has been dependent on the welfare system and, to some degree, the kindness of others to help her survive. Now, she says, her life with Matt has new priorities, a new focus. We don't have much income right now, but uh, that's, why we, that's why we feel the need to get through school. I don't like being dependent on things like SSI for, for income or anything, so that's why I think I need to get through school and get a good career. Right now, it's a long road ahead because we're so young, but uh, I think it's going to be a road that we're going to enjoy and we're going to uh, have a lot of memories to look back on together. For CNN Sunday Morning, Larry Woods, Charleston.